Hey there, what's up everyone? My name is Sarah Figer and welcome back to the Friday Night Funkin' mod known as Doki Doki Takeover. Literally just yesterday, upon recording this, upon recording this, the day yesterday, there was a bad ending released. And it's basically an alternate timeline where instead of Monica getting back into the game and then restoring order, she is unable to get into the game and then things go rapidly out of control there. So while the original Doki Doki Takeover mod fully captured the cute side of Doki Doki Literature Club, this bad ending is supposed to fully capture the horror side of it. And it's been getting a lot of positive attention. So let's do it. I am eager to check. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's unsettling. Let's friggin' do this. No weak select? No weak select? It's not responding. Ooh. I... I made a mistake. I gotta fix this. Somehow. Wait, that kid is there too? Damn it! I don't know how he even got there, but if my friends are acting like this, this is really bad. If my character data is acting up too, even from here, then there's a chance I still have some residual data over there. Maybe if I just... try this? Yes. Ooh! That's got a sting. It didn't work. I like the voice acting though. Whoa! Right in no warning? Just, just straight into it, okay. It's, oh! I didn't have any time to talk there because I, I was gonna say that it, it, it's. I like the song at first. But now it's. <laughs> Excuse me! That was a sneeze. Okay, um. That just hit me like a slap to the face. I couldn't talk, but. But this is so happy! And then it just got so freaking horrifying! Ah, uh, there we go. And even girlfriend looks all messed up. I like how the note speed's slow at least. Uh-oh. And now the note speed's getting fast. Why is the background else turning like that? No! That was uh, a surprise. Whoa! Whoa! What the? Whoa! Okay, I understand. It's like the bad thoughts stop PNG. Oh my gosh, this is the bad thoughts P dot PNG, but I'm it's so much. I uh, <laughs> there's no pattern. I have to button mash. Oh frick! Jeez, this. Okay, this has gotten really freaking creepy. But I love it. Oh my gosh. I love how it sounded really discorded. Like... It, it just sounds. It actually kind of reminded me of Empty from uh, Starving Artist, because the music there also sounded less and less like music, and it sounded just like a discordant mess. 
And that started to sound like a distorted mess, too. Are we going back to it? Yep, here we are! Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. That was amazing! I like how it turned into that sketched form. That was my favorite part of it. And I really couldn't talk, mainly because I had to focus, but also because I just wanted to marvel at, like, the visuals. And also because that when it's the sketched form, it gets really hard to hit the notes. Because all of them are red, and at first I thought, like, oh wait, those are notes I have to avoid, but not quite... Oh no. Oh no, we're at Yuri. She scares me the most. She, she's the character that scares me the most. So, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned about how this is gonna go because I know exactly what happens with her. Are, are you gonna give her the hyper-realistic eyes? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Not quite, but still up close. Oh, there's an eye! It's getting in my way. The eyes get in my way. Please, please, please. I was so close to losing. Oh, hi. You're really close. Please. I really gotta focus. I don't know why, but I'm doing so bad at this. There's no breathing room. I have to just- whenever it's my turn, I have to really focus. Okay. Thank you for the long notes. Oh jeez, and now girlfriend's all messed up. I mean, the song is really good so far, but, uh, like, I really can't talk about my thoughts on it because I have to focus whenever it's my turn, which is almost constantly! Can that- uh, can those eyes get out of my way, please? I'm- thank you. Whoa, hi there, hi there. Okay, yeah, this is the part I don't like. I feel like she's staring right at me, and she's going off. Jeez. Okay. And that ended just the way that she ended in the in the, 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 the original. Holy crap! Yeah, there is no breathing room. I, I the notes are like too fast, and I have to like really really focus. This is the first video of my recording session too, and I have like not played any Friday Night Funkin for a long time. And now we're at Natsuki. She's gonna break her neck.
I'm not getting fooled by this. There's all the kitties, and I like the kitties. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, the heck, she's faceless. I don't remember that. Oh, wait, yes, I do. This happens before she goes all nuts and breaks her neck. Oh, there she goes! Whoa! This is too early to be going off Natsuki. Oh, I, I don't like this. There, okay. I thought I was gonna do poorly on there. Jeez! Okay. No breathing room, guys. This is mostly gonna be playthrough without commentary, I think. I think I'm going to have to wait until I get to the very end of the mod to be able to think clearly and give my honest-to-goodness thoughts about this. Oh! Oh no! Oh no, now he's gone like her! Oh gee, oh jeez. I can't, I can't, oh my god, I can't talk. And I'm here again! So many button mashes. So so many big spams of notes. Man. Are those the spirits of everybody? Are we all dead? It's gotten very sad, but I'm expecting it to go bad again. Oh no! Oh no! They're all dead! We're all dead! Oh no! Holy crap. Okay, yeah, I was barely able to think during that whole playthrough, so I'm gonna have to give my thoughts about it all after all of this is done. This is going to be a little different from my other mod okay, playthroughs. Hold on. Maybe this? No. Why? Nothing's working. This can't be happening. Wait, are they actually gone? Or was that just the... Jeez, even, even the music is gone. Okay. Holy crap. I could not think because all of their... All of their songs were like lots of big note spams. Which really works because it, it shows about how out of control everything is getting. But I'm going to go through each character's song for, like, in the order of which they were played. So, 
First we're going with Sayori, and hers was... I really liked it. I like how it started out nice at first before switching to be sad, then back to nice, then back to sad again. It was kind of like how her her second song in the original Doki Doki Takeover had her being all happy, and then there was a moment where she looked depressed before she got up to being all happy again, except in this case, it's the opposite. And then from there, she ended up... Something that didn't I didn't expect happening was that they ended up looking... Like Sayori and boyfriend, they both ended up looking like the Happy Thoughts .png kind of, kind of uh, I guess design, except that in the that original PNG, Sayori was a stick figure, and here she was way more detailed. But it worked, and their sprites looked really good, and I liked about how like it, it looked kind of like I don't know really how to describe it, but like whenever they were like in a pose then there would be two different ways they were sketched. Two or three different ways they were sketched in that pose, and it would just constantly cycle through them, so it looked like the lines that they were outlined with were just, like, shuddering and zipping around. I don't really know how to describe it, but it worked a lot. I liked it. It was hard. I thought I was gonna die at it, but it worked. And Boyfriend also turned Demented as well. I mean, like, Sayori did, so why wouldn't Boyfriend? And considering how the whole th game is coming apart, it's also affecting him, too. Then we're moving on to Yuri, and yeah, Yuri was the creepiest to me. I did not like how cool she was to me. I was expecting her eyes to be, like, photorealistic eyes, though, so I wasn't expecting them to still be cartoony. Although, when those eye pop-ups were coming up, they kind of, like, blocked my view, and one of them actually did cover her eye, which did more or less make it look as though she had a realistic human eye, so that was a good touch. Girlfriend's face becoming one big red eye. I don't know what that is. Is that, like, the... the eye of Markov or whatever? I, I know what this whole thing was about. It was, like, the whole... the whole book of, of Markov that she had and she talked about in the original game. And I was honestly kind of expecting those Markov notes to come up that I would have to avoid because they were in the original game and it would make sense with her, but I mean, I guess not. It's okay that they're not there because they're notes that I have to avoid, and as you all know, I do not do well with notes that I have to avoid. Her wig was really good and the way that it ended was also really good. I did not, I did not know how it, hers was going to end, but I should have seen that coming. She gets all bloody, her eyes roll up in her skull, and then she slumps down, just like in the original. Oh man, that just gave me chills when I thought. And then Natsuki's is the next, and hers was free- hold on, I actually want to go into the free play menu and see what each of their songs are called. Stagnant. Okay. Markov, yeah, okay. And then Home. Oh, because she said that that her there it's implied in the act two that her dad is abusive. So when she's home, then like, yeah, okay, it makes sense. And th and then her yeah her becoming faceless. I understood that her eyes friggin' popping out. I did not know about. But then her eyes got scribbled out. She got the big wide grin, crying blood, and one of her poses. She had her neck snapped. Like yes. All of that worked, and the way that her head that her head was like twitching spastically in general, really, really worked. And when you think about the word home, it usually makes you feel very calm and happy and safe. But in here, it does not, because her dad is abusive, or so it's implied. So, so the fact that it's called home while all of that chaotic stuff is happening kind of like gives conflicting feelings, and it ends up working very well. If I had to say which of the weeks were the scariest, then that would easily go to Yuri. But if I had to choose which week I liked the best in general, then that would have to go to Sayori. And the reason why is because that Sayori's was the only one that did something that I did not expect. With Yuri, I expected her to get up for face to get up close and personal. And I also expected her to have the realistic eyes, which she didn't. With Natsuki, I expected her to get into a crazed look. The eye is gone, the mouth wide, crying blood, and the neck snap. I expected that, and it happened. Sayori is them turning into the happy thoughts of PNG. I wasn't even considering that, but, like, I did not know that was coming. And I thought 
that it was a wonderful touch. A freaking wonderful touch. And the first time they turned into it, the music didn't even sound like a song, honestly. It was really... It was like the music background just sounded like chaotic noise, and then the vocals they were singing was also chaotic, and that... That does... Since Sayori does canonically have depression, it that kind of chaoticness can also be a reflection of like the inner demons that someone with depression has. So that was conveyed ex exceptionally well, and there is no other way to really put the cherry on top of that part without making them have the happy thoughts art style. Seriously, I cannot get over it. That that was just such a great touch. And with the music in general, um, yeah, hers was fine. I liked how it started out happy and friendly. It sounded exactly like the kind of things the Orion would sing. And then it got to being really sad. And the note slowing down was, was good when it was sad. But then when it got closer to the Happy Thoughts art style, then first the background changed and also the speed of the notes increased to show up the ramping tension. That was good. With Markov's music, all I can say is that the, the music... In general, the one that that was the biggest banger to me, all of them were bangers. And Sayori's was the most fitting, but the one that, that ultimately was the biggest banger to me was Markov. The fact that, that there were several times when, when uh, Yuri was singing a verse, then the final long note that she would do on her verse, that boyfriend would also start jumping in and playing, that final long note that she did, that she does, oftentimes it was like a discorded note. It, it didn't sound like a note that like meshed cleanly. It was like a discorded note, which, which really matched her discorded mind as well. And then Holmes' music that was also super friggin' good. It, it again, it, it's fitting as well with, with um Markov's. Um, I think it might have been like a little too chaotic for the kind of horror that Yuri encapsulates. Cause I always thought Yuri was encapsulated the kind of like insane obsessed kind of look to her and the and what with the music that we got was kind of more than that so it felt like that it was a little too chaotic for her with home yeah that one could be chaotic and work because it's natsuki and she's got a stronger personality so i understood that very well and i still really love that whole thing about how home feels safe, which in her case it does not, and the music reflects that sounding just like this. The music, I would say, it just sounds panic inducing. That is the best way to describe it. And then, um, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go there. There we go. And then stagnant. That sounds familiar. The word stagnant, it sounds familiar, and I don't know why. But it was a good touch, and I think if the game actually. Hold on. I actually want to go. Yeah, the whole thing is paused, because I want to go into the assets, and I want to go into the images, because I want to see with, if, if, their, if, if their XMLs are all deleted. I want to see. I have to see. No, they're all here. Okay, good. Well, crisis averted. If they actually did end up deleting them, that would have been a genius friggin' touch. But no. Anyways... So that was the bad ending of Doki Doki Takeover. Holy frickin' crap. This made the Doki Doki Takeover mod itself better than it was before. I did not know that I needed this, but now I do, and I'm so happy that it is here. So the link to Doki Doki Takeover and the bad ending are both in the description below, because there was a message at the beginning that I skipped over that said that you gotta play the Doki Doki Takeover before you play this bad ending. Although, like, you should. It doesn't mean that we can make you, so we're not forcing you, but we still suggest that you do it. Which, I do like that. In general, I thought it was very good, very well done. Instead of just being all cutesy with mild horror elements that the original Doki Doki Takeover was, this one fully captured the horror side. I was actually kind of... When I went to the free play menu, I was kind of expecting there to be like an Amonica song as well that where she would, uh, I, I'm not sure what scenario it would be, but I know that the original Doki Doki Takeover also had free play songs that showcased stuff that weren't, uh, canonical, I guess, like having giant Monica and then also 
senpai in a steered form, both going against boyfriend. That's that's an example. Here, I th was kind of expecting the same kind of thing, except that it is, is Monica, and then maybe she starts out normal, but then as the song goes, then when it then at some point during the song, then she'll end up turning into her jump scare look, where her whole body her, will become. Is super saturated. She'll get like the really wide eyes, the cracked face, the realistic human mouth. Like it, it, if it ended up becoming that kind of thing, I thought that I think that that would have been that would have worked very well as well. But who knows? Maybe it'll come out as an update in the future. For now, though, I freaking love how it is right now. I love this mod how it is right now. I highly suggest that you play it, but if you have not played the original Doki Doki Takeover yet, take care of that first, and then do the bad ending. Because otherwise, you're not going to understand the bad ending. But I understand it, because I played the first Doki Doki Takeover first, before tackling this bad ending. And man oh man, this was great. It, it really makes me happy that the Doki Doki Takeover original ending, the happier ending, was the ending that we got, because this, for people, I guess, who wanted a, a, a bad ending, this would uh, satisfy those people, so that they don't have to be like, oh man, we got a good ending, but the game is supposed to be like a horror game, and then the creators were like, yeah, well, okay, we'll fix that, and then they made this. This is a mod where everything goes wrong, but in the best way possible. Awesome mod, it, this thing, this just makes the original Doki Doki Takeover better. I'm definitely going to want to play this on my own time, just so that I can marvel at the songs again. Or maybe there will be videos on YouTube where I can properly marvel them without having to focus on playing. Because, man, big spams of notes that I just had a button mash to get through. And I, and on Sayori's and Yuri's songs, I, Yuri specifically, I thought that I was going to lose. I could see out of the corner of my eye that icon was getting closer and closer to the right side. <sighs> yeah. Very tension filled though, but really good. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye everybody.